Hey you guys, okay so I am so excited to be doing a video that I very rarely do. We are focusing 100% today on shoes. Okay, so shoes are so much fun. Shoes are a safe bet, I feel. You can always throw on a really sexy pair of shoes or a pair of shoes that you just love that make you feel good. They can pull together any outfit. They can make you feel nice. And I do think that shoes are an investment. I have definitely spent a bit on shoes and I don't mind buying a pair of expensive ones that I like. I know that they last. I know um, I've had many of my nicer pairs for years, but all of the shoes that I'm showing you today are not designer. They're not super crazy and I'm gonna break the bank. These are some of the best finds, you guys. And when I say the best finds, I mean the best finds. So, I know, this is distracting you, right? These are good. I'm just gonna keep talking to you and, and showing them. I'm gonna try on all these. I'm gonna show you, I say it, I'm not trying to like toot my own horn. I find the best stuff, I really do. When I, listen, okay, let, let, let's first talk about the tragedy that is the wedge. What's happened? What's happened to these poor wedge shoes? The last like couple years, they really got a bad rap. I feel like you'd watch shows and they'd be like, make fun of wedges or people would be like, oh, I don't wear wedges or blah. Wedges have always been some of my favorite pairs of shoes, but I haven't had a good pair in years. Like, I was looking the other day and I was wanting to wear a really cute, this was like a month or so ago, I wanted to wear this really cute dress and I was like, I want a pair of wedges. I don't want to wear like heels or anything crazy. I look, I did not have a single pair of wedges and I was like, how did this happen? I, years ago, bought so many pairs of wedges and just wore the hell out of them. I had those Sam Edelman ones in two different colors that I literally wore till like the threads were, you know. Do you guys remember all that? And like Target had some really good ones and um, literally they're just shoes that I have worn out. Like when I look back over the years and I think, what shoes have I worn out? Those are the shoes I think you should really focus on like getting and repurchasing because you obviously love them. So wedges, there's something that, that I really do love. So I thought, you know what? I'm gonna get me some new wedges. And I did. And I got some good flats. And these, this is not all from the same trip, for sure, no. This is stuff that I've collected over maybe like the past like two months. Like eight pairs to show you, you guys. I know that sounds nuts, but y'all, these are the find of my life. Several of these are the find of my life. You guys will not even believe. Okay, so these have the little rock stud ish thing that you guys know I'm all for buying Valentino rock studs I have more pairs than I care to admit but I'm also not stupid I do have a lot of them so maybe I am I don't know when I saw these I was like whoa these are so good they are so lightweight um as I go I'm gonna try them on so you'll see me kind of cut back and forth wear these with anything the um I actually they have a cork wedge version as well mom's not so into the cork wedges okay I, I don't know I mean I do have a pair that I'm gonna show you here in a minute but I thought these were so much nicer in this like woven little little daily the color is perfect they come in a few other colors the leather's so soft i just love how simple they are and very lightweight wear these with anything i'm wearing a dang adidas t-shirt today tank top speak out let me show you this let me show you this last year you guys know what in the year before was like the year of tiffany buy every single adidas t-shirt that comes out that you know whatever color and it's like my uniform. Like the other day I didn't know what to wear and I was like, put on a pair of white denim, sh pair of shorts, whatever, throw on an Adidas t-shirt, you're good to go. This one, oh, I'm running over all these shoes down here, you guys. This one is, um, it's just like a tank top, but it is very like gaping, so I did wear a tank under it. But I just loved this color. I have it on with some white skinny denim and um, oh my gosh, I'll link to these jeans too. Do you wanna see? Maybe you can see when I, but. Super, they're super stretchy and comfy and you gotta check these out. So next, these are kind of like, oh, look how cute this is. Y'all, I would totally wear any of these shoes with this and that, you know, just mix all up. These are so comfortable, y'all. Okay, let me just tell you, I don't know what it is. Like I have very, I kind of wide feet, but these really kind of hug my feet and they just, they, they hug my feet. They're very comfortable. They come in some other colors. I'll link to these and the color that I got. So far, these are very true to size. So I wear a true nine and a half and everything and nine and a half, nine and a half. But I like how the band's a little wider. They're just beautiful and they're very easy to walk in, but they give you a ton of height. Super cute. Now, these are not wedge. Oh, let me just, okay, let me just stick with wedges because I got one more pair of wedges. Okay. Really, the only heels that I've been wearing are those dang Vince Camuto ones that I've been talking about for the past three years and then recently just purchased the new version this year. I don't know what it is. I just haven't been, it's just nuts. I don't know, it just clicked with me and I'm like, why haven't I bought any wedges? Have I been brainwashed that wedges are not cool? Probably. 
that's sad. That's dumb. That's the dumbest thing I ever said. I hate that. I hate this like, oh, witches are in now. Oh, witches are in. Whatever. Just like wear what you want. But okay. Now, so these are $600 from Chloe. No, I'm just kidding. Chloe makes a version that are almost $600 that are literally just like this. Same little scalloping. I'm not a person for knockoffs. They don't say Chloe in them and I didn't buy a knockoff. I'm just saying every brand is kind of influenced by something. If I really want a particular bag and I can, you know, I can do it, I make it work, I'm gonna buy it. But, or a pair of shoes even. But gosh, if you find a pair of shoes and you're not like, this isn't the shoe I've been dreaming of my whole life or this isn't like something super special and you just want this look and they're nice shoes, do you girl. But these are so good. So they have like the little scalloped edging, flat, and but they give you a little bit of lift. So I think these are a little more casual. I, I like them in black. They are very, very comfy. The sole is very squishy and they do have that cork on the side with the little rope detailing. So these do come in some other colors too. Um, you can see when they're on my feet. You can kind of see the scalloping a little better. Take a moment, right? I found the best stuff. I am ashamed to say it. Um, oh, I want to show you guys a pair. No, let me show the new stuff. And then I'm going to show you guys one pair that they have been selling at Target for years that if you have not bought, you are literally like, what are you doing with your life? And I'll show that. I'll, I'll show you guys in a minute. But let, me, let me finish. Let me finish showing you this. Okay. These are not wedges, but oh my gosh, you guys, they are so good, right? Look at the studs. They're like just so, like the studs are so chunky and pretty. They look so beautiful on your feet and like you could wear these with a nice dress or you could wear them today with an Adidas shirt and some jeans and call it a day. I think they're very versatile. Now, so far, like I said, all of these have been nine and a halfs. These are nine and a half as well. And I don't know if you could see in the photo or in the, um, the little clip there, they are a little, my feet are swimming a little in them, you know, like just the width wise, which is kind of different for me because I have pretty wide feet. So I can imagine if you have like regular feet or like, you know, normal feet, um, or even a little slightly narrow feet, you may be flopping around in these. So if your feet are on the narrow side or they're like just a regular width, I would definitely say size down a half a size. So, so good, you guys. How adorable, right? These are... Oh. And then I'm gonna call these the basic flats because everybody and their mother has them. These definitely size down at half a size. These are nine and a halfs, and I feel like the length is very long on them. I really wanted a white pair. I just, I think that they're really cute. But I could have definitely sized down. So that's my little tip for you. And then I got these, which you see a lot of people have. These are not comfortable, okay? I'm just gonna say it. They're not comfortable. The leather is real soft. I do like the rose gold. And I think that if you are looking for a pair of these or you like slides, I like the design of these a lot better than the Sam Edelman ones. I just wish these had a little bit of squish to the bottom. I do not understand. These are very true to size. I do like the shape of this one much better than the Sam Edelman ones, I think. I mean, don't you think? I don't know. Which ones? They're both good, but like, look how much longer. Let me use the same one. The Sam Edelman ones are. I mean, I know that doesn't seem like much, but they are a little long. Try these, or even better, get yourself these for like 20 bucks at Target. These were in store years ago, and I grabbed this side, this color. They look just like the Valentino ones. They have held up really wonderfully. They're very comfortable and squishy. Like, I felt that pair of Steve Mel ones and I feel these, these feel so much better and they're so much cheaper. I'm shocked that they still have them online. I just linked th to them the other day and I was, I was really surprised. They look like they come in a black and a white color as well, which I tried to get like either last year or the year before and they were sold out. Those. I think are still sold out. One day maybe they'll bring back the white and the black and I'll get those. But they have had this color for an alarmingly long amount of time and you need to jump on these and get you some of those. Y'all, I hope that you saw a thing or two that interested you and I hope that you could find something that you love because I like to buy ones that are made well that I know that are gonna last me a while, especially like wedges which I tend to actually wear a lot and wear out. So. Um, so I don't mind spending a little bit more, but they're still very, very good for the price considering a lot of those are like real leather and they're made out of really nice materials and they're very, very comfortable. And they just look really, really good. They don't look cheap. And I was at Target the other day and they didn't even have wedges. So boom, there you go. I was trying to find some. I couldn't even find any. There was, I think there was one pair and they like literally, they felt like plastic. And I was like, well, I don't want to pay 34 for these when for 55. Right? Were those the ones that were 55? Okay. Y'all... Oh, thank you for watching. I'm so happy that um, 
that I'm able to share this fun stuff with you guys and that you guys enjoy it. It just really means so much to me. As always, um, everything is linked below. I love y'all so much. Thank you for watching. Thank you for spending this time from your day with me today. I really appreciate it. And um, I'll be back with some more really fun things coming up. And we will talk very, very soon. Bye, you guys.